Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Enter the Dragon. What do you know about this movie? This movie won our Patreon martial arts poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our martial arts Patreon poll. And I think this is Bruce Lee. So we have never seen a Bruce Lee movie. We've never seen many martial arts movies. We were just getting a ton of great suggestions and we decided to kind of put a bunch of them in a poll and this one won. So I'm really excited for this, excited for the introduction to Bruce Lee and uh, let us know if there's any other Bruce Lee films that we should check out. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you'd like to interact with us on our twitch instagram or twitter all those links are in the description as well and with that let's get into the movie straight into a fight wearing shin guards or it's just like Ooh. socks that was quick yeah those are interesting gloves too that's pretty nimble for his size Seems to be pretty one-sided. Ooh. Wow. Hey. What is the highest technique you hope to achieve? To have no technique. When there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. Just making everything automatic. His name is Han. He has brought disgrace to the Shaolin Temple. There is a man here. You will go to him. So they have a rogue student on their hands yeah. pretty much? I've come to speak to you about a tournament of martial arts organized by Mr. Han. Oh. We'd very much like you to attend that particular tournament, Mr. Lee. It's Lao's time. Yes, of course. Emotional content, not anger. Now try again. Okay, that was a little better. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Wow, it's deep. I wonder like how influential or like powerful Han has become since leaving. Probably pretty powerful if he was able to set up this whole tournament. Oh cool, so he choreographed the fight sequences. Oh man, those all look the same. There, that's Han. That's the only film we have on him. That's it? That's O'Hara behind him. Ruthless, as you might expect, being Han's bodyguard. A demonstration film of O'Hara. Oh. What do you know about Han? He lives like a king on that island. School of Martial Arts. Damn. Mary King found floating in the harbor. Nothing unusual about a body in the harbor. Really? We believe he selects attractive girls, builds their dependence on drugs, then sells them. Jeez. So, a little bit more than martial arts. There's a radio on the island. We'll be monitoring it. And then you'll come. Someone will. Oh. He's not getting a lot of reassurance here. No. If she's still there, she might have something. Name's uh, Mei Ling. So they already have someone on the island? Yeah. But this definitely seems like a much more intricate, like, undercover... Yeah. Many of Han's men had come in from the island. Oh, that's O'Hare? <laughs> Damn. Run, run! Oh, shit. Damn, that guy lived after that? She's kicking ass. Oh, get him off. Yeah. Where is everyone? I know. Is, like, I... no one around? <laughs> Damn, these guys so are... So many of them. They're taking a beating, though. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, my God. Pay your respects to your sister and your mother. I will, old man. So this became extremely personal. Oh, all of those were his? Oh. I thought he was just trying to find his suitcase out of all of them. Oh. 
Go find your ball. On the golf course? That's a tough shot, Mr. Roper. Uh... What the heck? What do you bet? It's 175 big ones. Only 150. You forget interest. So, he has a gambling problem? Okay, then. Let's go back to golfing. <laughs> now, did he throw that or hit it? How much do I have left in the bank? $63.43. Damn. All yours. Thanks. <laughs> How did he even make it to Hong Kong? Maybe he paid for the flight in advance. He wasn't training with them though. No, I, so I assume he's already pretty high up there. Got a passport. Damn. Where's the plane ticket for? Hong Kong. By Hawaii. He's not going to Hawaii. <laughs> oh. Oh, and took their car? Oh my gosh. Hey, soldiers, shave it up. Rupert, hey, how are you? Oh, they know each other? What you been doing since Nam? Hang it in a little bit. Oh, they're both in Nam. <laughs> oh, whoa. What we got here? A little action. Insects. I'm sure he's going to want to gamble on this. 50 bucks on the big one. <laughs> I'll give you five to one. Would you bet a hundred? Which one's the big one? I think the one on the right? Oh, oh for crying out loud, oh, would you believe God. that? Did he get him from the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You're doing this because... Just establishing that he sucks? Yeah. Trying to intimidate the other fighters? What's your style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Show me some of it. Later. Yeah, you'll find out. Don't you think we need more room? Where else? That island. On a beach. We can take this boat? Okay. You're already going to an island to fight. I assume he's just gonna let go of the boat, maybe? Hey! <laughs> Don't try to pull yourself yeah, up. Or I'll let it go the line. That was super clever. <laughs> Idiot. He's sinking? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you! Oh, this guy! He was in Bloodsport! Yeah. Hmm, would you look at that? A woman like that could teach you a lot about yourself. Oh, I thought he was talking about the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy bring like his entire life with him? Well, he can't really go home without a ton of money. He's got a lot of fighters on the island already. Damn, so many people. He said it was like a school, right? This whole community on this island. Quite a banquet. So much going on. Well, there he is. If you haven't spent all that money you won from me yesterday, I plan to win it back. How? You'll find out after you've lost it. <laughs> This guy, Hans, got a great sense of hospitality. And why are you so apprehensive? I was just wondering whether it was okay to drink the water. Don't con me. Wanna bet? <laughs> he ends every situation with, let's bet on this. You ever been to a martial arts tournament like this? Never. I have a funny feeling we're being fat enough for the kill. Ooh, that's a good way to look at it. Grand entrance. Man, things got real quiet. Gentlemen, you have our gratitude. Hmm. Oh. By a trick. What? Yeah, maybe hold on to that. <laughs> that was cool. It's been a big day. I'm a little tired. <laughs> you must conserve your strength. He's going to be all tired for the tournament now. <laughs> oh, they all get the same a treatment? Gift, Mr. Lee. I think so. Who's the insider? Yeah, I don't... I don't remember. There was a girl at the feast tonight. Which girl, sir? The owner of this dot. Oh. I know the one. I'll send it to you. That must have been her. Yeah. Another fine mess you got me into. 
helping himself. <laughs> yeah. One more lovely than the next. What'd you have in mind? Big one. I already have. Yeah, he liked you from the boat. Where do you come from? Shh, shh. Let's be quiet. Have you seen anything? <laughs> Let's be quiet. Have you seen anything? People disappear. Who? The girls. They're summoned to Hansa at night, and the next day, they're gone. Well, they're being sold off, aren't they? Muscles definition is insane. Yeah, there's only muscles. Oh. You must attend the morning ritual in uniform. Do they not know that he's coming from the temple? I don't know if anybody knows where anyone's coming from, like, unless they've said. Seven. Mr. Lee, why you know wear uniform? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I asked. Wearing his uniform. Right? Damn. Oh, do you have to crush the rocks into like a powder? Yes. I wonder if there's going to be more fighters that we haven't seen yet. Because we've only really focused on three. Yeah. Oh, that was the shitty guy. Yeah, it was like he made it to the island. Oh, I don't know about that mustache. Oh. He's so tall, he has like a huge reach. Yeah. Oh, man. This guy was all show on the boat. They're all kind of going to get to see a little bit of like who they're competing against, though. Yeah. Give my friend eight to three all the way. Uh oh, cancel. Cancel the bet. <laughs> oh. Or is this just a show to get three points and then he'll get eight? Something like that? Yeah, he looked kind of concerned. <laughs> See, oh. I, I think he got what he wanted, whatever the terms of the bet were. <laughs> okay. All right. So they just played that guy. Damn, pretty good stuff. <laughs> Do you like it here? Yeah, I like it here. Man like you belongs here. Like, without being able to leave <laughs> type of stuff? Where you go? Out in the moonlight, baby. It is not allowed. Oh? Can't leave your room? You're just going out in the balcony? I wonder if that's why they send the girls, to keep them just preoccupied, preoccupied into the rooms. What if that was on accident? He's so quiet. Yeah, you can't even hear him move. I like how the music ramped up with the intensity. I would think he wouldn't want to knock someone out and just like leave a body somewhere. No. Most people are going to start asking questions. <laughs> oh. So much for being quiet. Oh! Maybe you didn't have a choice on that one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Just like jump like eight feet yeah, straight in how? the air. <laughs> There's air. Like under there? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty suspicious right here. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, shit. I, I don't think there's any hiding all of these people he's knocked out. Seems that one of you sought aversion elsewhere on the island. My guards must prove themselves worthy oh fuck all the people got beat up uh oh i think they're all about to die oh i think he's dead what the fuck did he do Did he just 
crack his spine or something? Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of cracking happening, and I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Are you ready? Oh. No way, really? Does he know? I don't... You think? I don't think so. Can he legally kill him? Well, none of this is legal, but can he kill him in this moment? Okay. Cool. Oh, don't hit back. <laughs> Ooh, that was so fast. <laughs> this is like the main bodyguard. Yeah, if this is like his right hand man. Oh, whoa. Try to play dirty. Just annihilated his nuts. Not a chance. This is so satisfying. <laughs> that stop his heart. What are you doing here, man? This glass is going in you. Did he just finish him off? I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. Tara's treachery has disgraced us. Yeah, that was a good kill by him. And he got to embarrass him along the way. Man, not like the tiniest of scratches or anything against Bruce Lee. If you want to talk about this thing, I'll be in my room. <laughs> yeah, about how you probably don't want to fight anymore. You will tell me who else. Ooh. Suddenly, I like to leave your island. It is not possible. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. Is this the end of Williams? <laughs> that was no problem. Nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. His perspective is like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all just high? Ooh. Does he have like metal hands or some shit? In his gloves? Yeah, I feel like there's something. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. fuck. Oh. He just has a metal hand? The Knights of Europe, the Samurai. Dang, Wolverine. Are those like his different attachments? Oh, maybe. A souvenir. That's his skeleton? A guillotine? Uh, no thanks. This is the only angle I care to see it from. If you please, Mr. Roper. No. You mean you want me to put my head on that thing? An act of faith. No. Fuck no. You just killed your friend. I'm a man of little faith, Mr. Han. Okay, bye, cat. Cats are quick, though. Quicker than a guillotine? Very few people can be totally ruthless. It isn't easy. Now you've got to eat more. <laughs> then there is a point. You will not go beyond. Oh. This way. So this is where Bruce Lee was in. Right. A lifetime of women, huh? Oh no, they are my daughters. Oh, oh um. Your daughters? I misunderstood, Miss. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They are my most personal god. Nobody's as loyal as daddy's little girl. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't want to touch any of them. Is that cocaine? Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. The girl died from a heroin? heroin overdose, right? And who are they? Just lost drunken men who no longer care where they find themselves each morning. Why are they there? I don't know. Does he really need more men? Or is he doing something else with them? Sizable debts in America. Ooh. Diners Club hasn't called in my- What oh. the fuck is this? Oh, it's Williams! There were some questions which I was forced to ask. I got no answers. I think you lost him here. And you want me to join this? 
I want us to have a clear understanding. There's no misunderstanding between us. That was quite a presentation. Yeah. I mean, what else was he going to say in that situation? No, yeah. Ever? Get the hell out of there. Say whatever you can. Okay. Is he keeping that snake? Use it on somebody? <laughs> yeah, throw it at someone. Also, I think he's showing off going down this rope with his legs up. You don't need your legs up like that. <laughs> These scars are awful. You're not going to tell me that you don't see a white <laughs> rope hanging from the ceiling. Oh, that's cool. I like the shadow. Jeez. Oh, just enough space right under that door. <laughs> it's like, wake up, get angry. Oh, okay. I thought oh. you were just going to put it underneath the door. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Where is it? I just chilling somewhere. Was this the radio? I think so. Dang, you know Morse code? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Sounds like a lot of people come in. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Uh-oh. Poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> oh man, they just come out of nowhere. Oh no. Great, now he has a weapon. Oh, he took a shot to the back. <laughs> I like how everything's kept so close on him. And you don't really even see people like on the ground or anything. <laughs> oh, that guy got it real bad. Did he hit him with his own? Dude, you don't stand a just, chance. Just run, man. Oh, really? Fuck. Damn, those doors closed quick. Your skill is extraordinary. Yeah, didn't you get a message, man? My god, this came in half an hour ago. <laughs> what the f Already a half an hour late? Is Bruce Lee still down there? Oh, no, they brought him up. What are you gonna do to him? Not me, Mr. Roper. You. Damn, not Robert, though. I don't think he wants anything to do with this. It's like a test to see what side he's on. Like you said, there's a point I won't go beyond. I will find someone with whom you can fight. Bolo! Oh, no. Can they tag team this guy? Maybe let him do it, Roper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, no. Come on, Bruce Lee, kick him in the face. Ooh! Ooh. There you go. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, shit. Ooh. Damn, man. Oh, she's laying them all out? I did not have nearly enough faith in Roper. No, neither did I. I'm so sorry, Roper. Ooh. Oh, he's done now. <laughs> I got kicked in the face like 10 times. It's like mowing through them like it's <laughs> nothing. Oh, everyone's free. At least it's easy to tell with the white and uh, black uniforms. Yeah. Oh, you've lost total control. Oh, oh shit, he does have different attachments. 
Your bear claw? Ooh. Coming right for him. Just everyone fighting around them. I like the punches directly into the camera. Ooh. Oh, he lost it. You have another one somewhere? He has like a bunch in that. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this room in the glass case. You can't even really block this thing. You have offended my family and you have offended a Shaolin temple. This room's full of weapons. Grab one. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Uh-oh. Don't fight someone who does that. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Float across the room. Really? You need more weapons? <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, this is a trippy room to fight in. Oh, where's that coming from? Oh, oh fuck. Good thing he didn't hit him with the knives. Why the fuck would someone have a room like this? Oof. How's he disappearing? Oh, got him. That was sick. Destroy the image. Break the enemy. Break the mirrors? Yeah. More mirror tricks. Even though I feel like this just created more mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> he hit oh, the that spear. was the original spear? Just kicked him into the spear. Oh, damn. What a display for the dead guy. Everyone outside's all <laughs> fucked up. All these supposed drunk people fought very well. Oh, oh. no. What happened to her? Got caught in the crossfire. Even though she probably wasn't innocent in a lot of this. <laughs> There's help. Way too late. Maybe like <laughs> 45 minutes too late. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was Enter the Dragon. What'd you think? That was great. That was a ton of fun. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a little bit more centered around like an actual competition of right. sorts. We have watched Bloodsport um, in the last couple of months on the channel and that did rely heavily on the fighting being like during the tournament. This had like a whole other element of this villain who's selling off women and uh, drugs, the and drugs and killing people and also shaming the temple that he came from. Yeah, like, it was just an entirely different storyline kind of pulled into this. So at the very beginning of the film, the first piece of dialogue that we got, we did pause the movie for a second to make sure that we were watching the original version of this. I believe this is the version of it because I we started playing it I was like oh shit because we always try to put the original audio in yeah we'd rather watch something subtitled than dubbed right um, but it seems that the movie is dubbed the original um, and that it was actually filmed with no sound yeah which is crazy yeah well we looked it up it said that it was filmed with no sound and then 
they did the dub later. I don't know if they all did their own voices, but I think I did at least see that Bruce Lee did his voice. Yeah, so it's crazy to think that, like how much work in post-production goes into filming something with no sound. I just, I can't even imagine. I mean, trying to record all the audio for it in general, I know I've seen like videos of people that like their job is to do like footsteps and all of those kind of cool things, but to match up vocals, is crazy. So I definitely think we watched the right version. If not, oops. Hopefully, but, we tried. <laughs> but to go back to what you were saying earlier, I really enjoyed the whole villain aspect with his own like evil island yeah. with the drugs and everything. And, and really the tournament, that was just the reason to get people to the island. Yes. But that was a very, very tiny part of the movie. Yeah, and it's crazy because it sounds like, so he does this once every three years, but it's crazy to think like, what exactly happens? Do people just assume that people die or everyone dies and then the people that do actually survive are now just part of Han's like operation to keep things going? Yeah, I just assume that his last tournaments were more successful in recruiting people. Yeah, definitely could be. I thought the whole cast was great. Yeah. Uh, I really liked how we only focused on a few people of the tournament. I was just thinking, oh, tournament, like maybe we're gonna like, go through a bunch of people and see their backstories. But I really appreciated how we only focused on three, Lee, Roper, and Williams. There were more people fighting, but they were central to the story. Right. So I enjoyed everyone. Yeah, it kept it simple in terms of the cast, which was good, but in terms of like the action and the fighting, you're really getting to see like so many different fights at the end. I mean, that's like a giant fight, but we also had like a lot of one-on-one. Like, -on -one. But yeah, Lee, Roper, and Williams were awesome to follow along with. Like you said during the reaction, I love that we got to kind of see as they were traveling to the island, we got flashbacks of their lives back home. Right. And kind of what led them to this tournament. And focusing more on just these three, you build a closer relationship with them. So like when you have Williams who gets confused for being the one who's sneaking around and he dies, like that's pretty impactful. And then when you see Robert's realization that Williams was killed, you've spent enough time with Robert to understand like, there's no way he's gonna join this operation. Like, no. So when it gets to that final showdown, you have this sense of like, oh man, Bruce Lee and Roper are gonna team up yeah. and start kicking ass. Yeah, you're exactly right. And as sad as it was for Williams, I feel like it was so important for Roper's character. Right. But damn, like Lee, you kind of unintentionally got Williams killed. <laughs> he definitely accidentally got Williams killed. Williams was just having a great time, went outside for some fresh air and then got annihilated. I mean, he kicked ass, he kicked a ton of ass until the realization that Han, the main bad guy, had a freaking metal hand. Or any hand he wanted. Right. We're on like the end credits here and it's just overlay of his bear claw. Yeah, the movie finishes with like his bear claw. The cast was great. Mm -hmm. The story was definitely interesting to kind of take this very simple tournament and expand on it into this underworld criminal organization. And obviously your main character, Bruce Lee, he just kicked so much ass throughout this. Yeah, we saw in the very beginning and commented that it looked like every fight scene was kind of choreographed by Bruce Lee. Yeah. And especially towards the end, like you're seeing like a lot of intricacies, obviously in martial arts on film, like you're not intending for anyone to actually get hurt, um, but you have to portray that. So the amount of time and effort that goes into that and everything is beyond like anything that I could imagine. But Bruce Lee himself, damn, like that guy is just straight muscle. He must have like 1% body fat. <laughs> Literally. Like maybe even 1% is too like, much. What's the amount that a person can actually survive with body fat? That's what <laughs> Bruce Lee has. But they portrayed him as just so quick. I'm sure he is very quick in real yeah. life, but I mean, he was just like lightning fast, tossing people all around. Yeah. There were so many cool shots how they shot everything, whether they kept it very close to Bruce Lee and he was almost like fighting and punching people off screen. Mm -hmm. You could just kind of hear bodies falling. I assume that's maybe in real practical effects. They maybe had like 20 guys or something. So they kept having to like cycle Rotate. the same guys <laughs> in for him to like kick the shit out of and knock off screen and come back again or something. Yeah. But the shots were so excellent at just showing Bruce Lee kick ass. I even really liked point of view shots where it's almost yes. like 
whether it was someone punching or getting punched yeah. as the camera. I really liked that too. It like really pulled you into it and into the fights. I think I commented on it while we were watching, but that was probably some of my favorite scenes. Yeah, absolutely. It really took its time to have great fight scenes. I mean, yeah, you had the little tournament stuff or you had some side stuff as people are kind of going around the island, but like the sequence with Lee's uh, sister in the beginning, like mm -hmm. that was an excellent sequence of her kind of running around and kicking major ass and stuff and then but you're super afraid still it ends tragically but the whole situation was just very well choreographed oh completely and with that scene in the beginning like you really established a reason for lee to be there yeah in the same time you're also establishing han and then his right hand man o'hara are just horrendous people right um obviously they're trafficking women as well but making it very personal for bruce lee too and watching her like fight to the end that really just like established everything right at the get-go and i feel like there's different ways you can have fight scenes where you have the main guy you know taking some damage and it's very back and forth or sometimes the situation calls for just a totally one-sided fight and bruce lee fighting o'hara was just so insanely one-sided and it was perfect. It was so satisfying just knowing everything that Lee knows. I kind of want to hope that O'Hara did know who Lee was. I don't think he did, but I think that would have been even cooler to know, like, I'm fighting for my sister, for my family. Right. I don't think he knew, but in my head, maybe I'll just pretend that he knew. Yeah, like, right before he, like, did that final slow-mo jump, maybe he was like, this is for my sister, and yeah. then snapped his neck or whatever he did. <laughs> Um, and then on the other side of that, I guess, seeing like a more evenly matched fight is when we saw Roper fighting Bolo. Right, and we saw Bolo before, or Yang Z, I believe. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but we've seen him in Bloodsport, so yes. seeing him again was awesome. Yeah, it was cool to see a familiar face, and I mean, he was such a beast in Bloodsport, just as much so in this. Oh yeah, but that fight was great. I definitely thought Roper was gone. <laughs> We had no faith in Roper. I feel terrible. <laughs> but he kicked ass. Yeah. I mean, not only did he do that fight, but then he kept fighting after that. Yeah. Every fight scene was excellent. There was a ton of meaning. It wasn't just random people fighting. There was a reason and a backstory to a lot of these fights. And then it ends in such an epic conclusion. Yes. In that whole mirror room sequence. Yeah, the mirror room was so trippy to like watch. So just imagine being in the room during that fight scene. And even just working the cameras and everything around all of the mirrors. Yeah. I was trying to look in the mirrors for the camera. To <laughs> see anything. To see. Maybe there is or something like that. But it was excellent. I mean, and there was so many creative ways that they used that room. I mean, some of these shots where it looked like there was like six Bruce Lees and six Hans all kind of like looking at each other. It was just very cool. Yeah, it was very cool, very creative, and it made it like that much more intense because obviously Lee is like the best fighter, I would say, but Han kind of had like the dirty advantages right. um, with his hand and he would pull out other weapons um, using the room. So it kind of made it for a little bit more of an evenly matched fight for that to be like the finale. And I, I like how Lee never did pick up a weapon. I mean, there was weapons everywhere. He could have picked up a weapon, but he didn't. Like mm -hmm. he wanted to kill Han with his bare hands yes. pretty much even though he killed him with a spear. But that was by a kick. Yeah, um, I don't think he actually intended. I think he meant for the fight to go on. <laughs> probably. I don't know if he intended to get him up on that spear. Uh, but that was a great back and forth fight because throughout a lot of the movie, Bruce Lee was seemed so just overpowering to everyone. Like he almost never took any sort of damage or hit. Yeah. But then in this final showdown, I mean, he was getting stabbed and cut all over the place. They had that epic scene where they were kind of kicking at each other and then he like tasted his own blood. And from that point on, I was like, oh no, this guy's, he's going all in. <laughs> it's over. It's over for Han. <laughs> Even one of those final shots of just him spinning around 
the door with the spear through them. Just very creative stuff. I loved all of this. Yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think the storyline, the fighting, like all of it made for such a great film. And I like that we're getting to see more martial arts. Right. And this was our first introduction to Bruce Lee and I'm a fan. Absolutely, yeah, super impressed. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.